Okay, so should be starting here in just a second. Alrighty. So everything should be good now. Um, you guys let me know if the audio sounds a little fuzzy, because if it does, then I know the issue finally figured out what was going on with OBS. It was running the wrong audio stream. So I had to make I had to go in and make sure that that was set up properly. <coughs> Excuse me. But just so you guys are aware, audio is one of the most important things that you can make sure you have right. And I wasn't I can't, I'm not really aware until I rewatch it and I don't rewatch every everything that I do. Um so sometimes I don't find out until later, but yeah, kind of sucks. Anyways, enough of that. What's going on, guys? Richie, what's going on? Kayachi, <laughs> it's a heck of a name. I'm glad you enjoy the videos, though. She's hoping she wins the, the mentorship course. Yeah, you and a bunch of other people. <laughs> I get messages sometimes after the thing. I actually got a message Maybe I'm not going to mention this person's name, but uh, yeah, he was kind of upset he didn't win last week. But hey, I don't blame you. I mean, you guys want to win this because you're serious about your business and you're serious about really uh, doing something for your business. So I don't I don't blame you at all. Um, it's definitely something that um, is important to you guys. And I get it. <laughs> Sorry. A little out of it. <sighs> I think, dude, I think I'm getting, like, this permanent cold that's just, like, not going away. Like, everything is just stopped up, and my throat hurts. But, anyways, Chris Kennedy, what's going on, man? We're going to get started here in just a second. Just wanted to give it a sec for everybody to hop in. Um, let me pull my chat window over here really quick so that way I can see you guys talking. Okay. Um, and actually, I do need that up as well, because I have to be able to change scenes. So, because look, for those of you who didn't catch us last week, now we can do this during the lives, and it's way nicer, and we have branding at the top, and uh, it's just nicer, because it's my camera camera instead of, like, my webcam, like, I'll show you this little guy right here. Yeah, see it's actually on right now too. Like that's the cool thing. I can do like multiple shots So like I can have my webcam over here and I can go like this and switch to you guys and like what's up? You guys can see my lights in the back. So that's why I don't sit on this plus It's not as good of quality like in my opinion. I don't know you guys tell me what do you guys think is better? Like do you think the DSLR looks better? I think the color quality looks better overall um it might could be a little less fuzzy. That's what I'm still trying to work out is how to make the screen fit the uh, basically the canvas that uh, OBS gives you, which I've messed around with the settings. So if anybody in here is like a video editing guru or a video editing person, um, or you work a lot in OBS and you have any quick tips on how to you know make that better, um, definitely hit me up after this video. I'd love to talk to you. But Anyways, we're getting things moving forward nicely. Um, everything's moving along. The new course is getting put together. If you guys are waiting for the personal branding course, we are launching the uh, pre-launch sale on August thirty or sorry, August first. The course launches on August 31st. So if you guys are trying to start a personal brand or if you're trying to build a business kind of like my YouTube business, what you guys see right now. Um, that's going to be something you're going to want to look into. We have a ton of big name people coming on there. People have made millions and millions of dollars in marketing. Uh, people like Maxwell Finn, Jeremy Adams, Patrick Kenny, um, Ron, Ruan Marino is coming on. Um, Desmond Glenn, if you guys are familiar with him and some of his uh, Shopify courses, we're going to have him come on and talk about e-commerce. So a lot of really cool information and people collaborating on this program 
um, to make sure that you guys are able to build a personal brand in a niche or a passion that you enjoy and actually monetize it. Like not just tell you, yeah, you could build a personal brand. We want you to be able to monetize that brand. And so we're putting a lot of effort into making sure you have all the groundwork and all of the tools and resources like these soft. Wait, let me see if I can do it without making it fall. These softbox lights. Yeah. Like that kind of stuff. We'll show you exactly what kind of equipment to start off with, how you, you know, start to start to upgrade your upgrade your equipment and services over time. We'll kind of walk you through that process when you'll want to start doing that. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool thing, and I like doing what I do. People all the time. It's funny. People ask me. Uh, they'll like I'll be out with some friends or something, and they'll have someone new show up, and they'll be like, "What do you do?" And I'm like, "I'm a YouTuber," and they're like, "Wait." Really? And I'm like, yeah. And they don't quite believe me at first half the time. They're like, wait, you make all your money from YouTube? I'm like, it's basically how I live. Yeah. And they're like, okay, that's cool. But yeah, if you want to do something like this, you totally can. You just have to know how to build a personal brand. And I will tell you guys one thing over the last year and a half um, I've learned a lot about is building a personal brand. And I've learned all of the things you definitely don't want to do in the beginning or don't want to forget in the beginning. And then I've learned all of the things that will help you advance and do even better uh, later on. So that's just a little update there for you guys, as well as the freaking course, dude. I'm so excited. So I'll show you guys kind of a preview. Um, here's like a sneak peek. If you want to see the new website that we're building for Serial Entrepreneur Academy, I want you guys to do me a favor and write yes in the uh, comment section. Let me go find that really quick. But if you guys want to see that, write yes in the comment section because we got one of the first revisions of the mock-up of our new site uh, today. And it's looking good. It's not quite there yet. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. And for those of you who saw the other day, I was doing some of that website building process uh, live on my Facebook group. So if you guys aren't a part of the Facebook group, it's a free Facebook group where it's all conversation about marketing and getting better results from your marketing campaigns and your marketing efforts. Um, but if you guys want to see that, just let me know and I'll, I'll show you kind of a little bit about what the site looks like. Um, yeah, we got a few yeses. So I will uh, make sure to pull that over here in just a second. Tanya, what's going on? Corey, what's going on, man? Um, let me pull that over here and I'll show you guys a preview of the site. All right, let me make sure we're on the right camera here. Okay. All right, so this is the mock-up. Um, and you can see we have our top level bar we have a start here area which is basically going to be an informational page about building an online business um, and that's why we're actually going to change up that none of this is actually pretty much staying some of it's staying but the majority of the copy is actually going away um, but this is our navigational bar we'll have obviously our digital marketing courses so digital marketing school and the mentorship course we have a personal branding course we're, we're going to do like we're going to obviously host our free trainings uh, that we have here, contact information, then you can log in if you're a current student. So current students, you're gonna wanna be on the lookout um, for when we update this. We'll be updating this hero image. We don't know exactly what we want to go right here just yet, but we're, we're working it out. Um, we'll update these obviously with like, uh, for example, the Digital Summit, uh, our Future Sharks publication, our Voyage Atlanta publication. Once we finally get our BuzzFeed article published, which I know I told you guys we're doing, and I promise you we are. We're waiting for our publisher to get, like, it's a long story. Basically, he kind of got hurt from it all. Not from me, but from doing it multiple times with other clients as well. Anyways, long story short, we'll be getting published in BuzzFeed. He's working on getting back in with them. Anyways, um our little call to action obviously to get people to subscribe just people who visit the website and want more information we're gonna update this video I don't even know where they got this video from so that's funny they probably pull it from my YouTube channel uh, right here these will be like some training resources as well so let's get your business started 
Um, I think I need to change that to online business started. Let's get your online business started because we're going to focus on building an online business. Like that's what we're turning this whole serial entrepreneur platform into is building an online brand or business um, or, a, you know, a business where you work from home. Uh, so that's kind of what we're trying to turn the whole feel and vibe of serial entrepreneur into. Um, also, it won't have this like black background over here. Like I know this looks bad. It will just be like what you see <laughs> inside the image itself. So it won't look near as bad as it probably does right now. Um, we'll have our newest blog update right here. Um, so basically when we get... Uh, steady blog con or not when we get steady blog content but when we get our new blog platform because we're building our blog on wordpress uh when we get our new blog platform that will be hosted obviously from our n current domain serial entrepreneur.academy uh but it'll just be like a different subdomain or a different slug uh, but it'll have our most recent blog here and then our upcoming blogs right here and then we're going to do some affiliate related stuff this is kind of a thing i stole from pat flynn uh, and what he does is he kind of promotes some of his services that he uses uh, and says, hey, these are some of the most trusted resources that I use. And what you do is you actually link these images to a click funnel um, or not to a click funnel, but to a unique URL, um, which would be the affiliate link. And then obviously when if someone purchases, I make money. Um, so that's how a Pat Flynn has actually built affiliate marketing into his website platform, which is pretty cool. Um, if you guys don't know who Pat Flynn is, he's kind of, he's pretty similar to what I do. He talks about podcasting. Um, he, he's in the online educational space for like podcasting, blogging, stuff like that. Really smart guy, really good content. Check him out if uh, you're looking for other people to look at. Um, and then ultimately our last call to action and subscribe, we'll have our social stuff. We'll have, you know, everything else down here about the digital marketing school and about Serial Entrepreneur Academy. So uh, this is just the home page. They're going to be building out the sales pages, um, the start page, uh, and then we'll worry about the about page and the contact page and login page last. So yeah, that's basically, you know, it in a nutshell what we have so far at least for the design side of it uh a lot of it is really just the migration of video content and the migration of students to make sure that everyone gets over properly and all of the videos get over that's why we're not releasing for those of you who are students on the on the live video right now um that's why we haven't released our uh or even started pushing out new digital marketing school content yet, just because we'd have to migrate it all over anyways. So we're not gonna pay for that twice because migrating is expensive because it takes a lot of time to move video content. Um, so yeah, that's why we're not releasing those videos yet. But we're, we're, we're gonna have the new website up by the end of this month, roughly. It should be ready by the end of this month. Uh, so that's when we plan to start releasing all of the new content. Plus, we'll start launching our personal branding course. So we're, we're really excited. We have a lot of really big stuff going on um, here over the next few months. Also, I want to give a big shout out to one of my students um, just to show you guys that it's possible no matter, you know, where you start from. And I'm, I'm super stoked to say this because I recently had my first big time speaking event in front of, you know, two to 3000 people, which for those of you who are still waiting for that, yes, we are going to be releasing that video. I promise you of where I spoke at the digital summit. It's not some big hoax. Like I really did speak. Um, but, uh, basically the video editor that I'm using for this video, his laptop, and he's someone here local that I wanted to use. Um, he, uh, had something go wrong with his laptop so he had to basically send that back so that way he could get it worked on anyways that video will be coming um and i forgot where i was going with that but let me see oh we have some questions here i'll get back to that later i'm just stoked about this whole website thing like i'm ready to get the new site over there 
Are you using a website builder or you have someone build this with slash for you? Devin, I never do web development myself. Um, I'm not a web developer, number one. Number two, I would much rather spend my time on things that are going to generate me money. See, that's the thing that people, people don't understand about building a business or an agency or a personal brand or whatever it is. You should never focus your time and energy on the tasks that aren't going to ultimately make you more money. Now, building a website, building a new website with a whole new feel, real call to actions, uh, you know, funnels built within the site, optimized for SEO, works, you know, great as far as user experience and functionality is concerned. All of that is great, but I can't build that at the most optimum level, right? I know someone out there is a better developer than I am. Uh, and not only that, but, you know, as a digital marketer for an agency owner, or if you're running a personal brand or whatever it is that you're doing, you have to spend your time on the tasks that are going to make you money. So if I can hire someone to perform a job like that for me, I'm going to hire someone to perform that job because I know that by spending my time in the areas that are going to make me money, I'll ultimately make more money than that job, than me sitting there spending my time developing that site would make me. You know, I might have to spend some upfront to get that website developed, but that means I can spend my time over here creating more content, working on a digital marketing course, or um, creating a brand new course like my personal branding course. What's I know when I create that will ultimately like instantly start generating me another four figures per month, right? And then I can get that up to where it's at five figures per month, six figures per month, and scale that business. So that's the thing. You know, I I, I prioritize my time really based on where my time is gonna make me more money. And if you guys take that concept and apply it to your business and apply it to your entrepreneurial strategy early on, I promise you, you'll do way better. Like as soon as you get your first client or two clients, you need to start outsourcing as soon as possible. Um, and that's, I mean, seriously, as soon as you, like, even if it's just like post scheduling, like you hire someone to do your scheduling for you, like get, get the, the reason why I recommend hiring as soon as possible is not only because it's going to free up your time from doing that stuff so you can focus on the important stuff, but it's also because it's going to give you the ability to start creating operational workflows for your business. And the sooner you can get that out of the way, the better. So once you have a, a platform or a template basically to work from, all you have to do is update it from there. And what I mean by a template is a template of that operational workflow. So for example, with a scheduler, what is that scheduler's exact job every time they get a YouTube video or a Facebook post, Twitter post, Instagram post, Snapchat post, LinkedIn post, Google Plus post, anytime they get anything like that or a blog article, how, what are their instructions for uploading that content? Have you guys, let me ask you guys something and I want you guys to write a yes or no in here because I really wanna see uh, how many of you are doing this? Have you guys started building out operational workflows for your VAs or for the people that you send work to? If you have, write yes. If you have not, write no. Um, and I, I'm really curious to know this because you guys have to start doing this to get the most out of your budget. So if you're given, you know, two to three thousand dollars to work with with a client. You know, you have to make that budget last and the best or not last, but work really get start getting leads. And if you're not making that budget work, you know, you're not going to keep customers. Right. So how do you make the budget work and get the most out of every single budget? Well, the best way to do that is to have your your systems finalized and in place. All businesses are about creating a system. Right. That's why franchises are so successful. Why? Because they focus on creating a system that is easily replicable every single time they redo it, right? So if you're trying to build an agency and you're trying to create content every single day, well, that means you should probably have a process in place that's going to streamline that content creation process. And that's why you need to create operational workflows. That's why in the digital marketing school, one of the biggest things I noticed I was missing from the course was something about operational workflows. Like that was one thing I noticed was like, oh crap, I don't have anything in there about teaching on how to build an operational workflow for a business. And so that's why I'm taking all of the operational workflows that I have created um, on Lucidchart, which if you guys don't use, I'll show you what I mean too by operational workflow. Um, 
basically an operational workflow is something like mm, we'll do creative director I'll just show you this one so the creative director is the person responsible for creating posts and coming up with blog ideas um, and stuff like that basically what I've done is I've created a document that outlines this person's job role and exactly what they're supposed to do for every single platform, whether that's YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat, how they update their task. Um, you can see right here, creating a task in Asana, which Asana is the platform we use to manage projects, how to perform the content research for YouTube, for Facebook. I even provide examples for each one. Um, responsibilities per channel, when they're supposed to create content, what the content style should be like, how often they need to update the content, um, what to include in each task description on Asana, like in the task description itself. So you guys can see there's a lot that goes into this and that's why, you know, number one, I definitely wanted to make sure my students had it. So we're putting it in the course that's going to be part of the update. But the other side of it is if you don't understand that this is so crucial in making sure that your business is set up the right way in the beginning to make money, then you're missing out on a big portion of of uh, really the operational side of running an agency. That's why you're probably struggling with, you know, making your dollars work for you. Right. Um, so let me see what we have right here. We got a lot of responses from that. Uh, let me see a bunch of yeses yeses um, congrats on the BuzzFeed thank you awesome I really discovered I recently discovered your channel on the website so it's exciting to see how it's going to get bigger and awesome yeah thanks Diego I really appreciate that how do you afford money to hire people for your agency startup Q and that's the thing you don't hire anybody until you get the work going what I like to do is start putting out my feelers so getting job requests on Upwork so that way when I do get a uh, specific like once I start talking to a client like when I when I was in the beginning stages what I would do is I'd go on to Upwork and start getting like sending out job offers for people to start getting work together and then once I landed that job I would hire that person and then start getting them to work on the stuff that I needed done right so I've already been paid now I can get that person working and by the time the pay comes out on Upwork you should already have money in your account um, but you don't like you you afford it once you start to take on clients I mean you other than that if you don't have money up front to pay for it yourself then you, you don't hire you do all the work yourself um, and that's why it's important to have education in every area so that way if you have to you can do what you need to do and be a scrappy entrepreneur and put together a campaign that's going to be effective and going to get results for that client how do you select a web developer Corey I mean web development is a little more tricky really I look at what their design is like I look at their history um, I try to see if you know their sites are built with a lot of plugins or if they're really actually good custom developers um, and to do that really that just comes with experience at looking at websites you know time and time again if you're not experienced with looking at websites I would recommend finding a web developer who can look over a website very quickly um, or you'd either do some research on how to kind of an analyze a website and determine whether it's been built properly or not um, but either way, you need to be able to look at a website and tell whether it was built properly, you know, using whether they used a bunch of plugins um, or whether it was, you know, nicely developed, planned out um, and constructed well. <clears throat> I've been researching people to outsource work too. Devin, I use Upwork for pretty much everything, man. I can't I can't say that I haven't been happy with what I use. Tanya says, do you think that you need an MBA to start working as a digital marketer or reading on the internet and watching webinars is enough to become a good one? Tanya, you definitely don't need an MBA. I don't have an MBA. I don't even have my undergraduate degree. I dropped out of college. So if that says anything, I got hired on at, I always talk about this agency that I went to work for in Jacksonville, like right when I got out of college, when I got out, I dropped out of college. Like I didn't finish college. I was like five years into college and dropped out because I got this really awesome opportunity from a company that, yes, they did say they were going to ultimately finish paying for my college degree, 
that ended up did not happening because I left. I wasn't happy with the job ultimately over time. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to have an MBA. Like I'm doing it. I don't have an MBA. You don't have to, but you have to be, what you do have to be willing to do is put in the time and effort to learn the material because it is a commitment. It's not something that's, you know, learning the material isn't easy, but it's only not easy because of the fact that there is a lot. Uh, it's not difficult to understand digital marketing. It's difficult to get through all of it quickly and understand. And that's what most people want. They want to get done with it in a month. And that's just not realistic. You are going to have to spend, you know, three, maybe four months really just learning the material to where you'll feel comfortable enough to not only sell it well, uh, but sell it properly to do the right thing for your clients because your clients, you know, you have to do the right thing for them. You have to sell for them, meaning you have to get them leads and actually spend their budget that's going to get the, or spend their budget and get them leads and sales from it, right? So you don't want to screw that customer over. You don't want to hurt someone else's business. Like, how would you feel if someone came into you and you didn't really know how to get results and you took, you know, five grand from them and or they took five grand from you and then they didn't get you anything. They didn't get you a sale at all, right? They, you would hate that, right? So don't do that to someone else. Educate yourself properly and really make sure you understand digital marketing before you go out there and try and land a customer. <laughs> Hi, Jordan. I've been invited to... Oh, um, but one last thing. I wouldn't say reading on the internet and watching webinars is enough to become a good one. I would say that you're going to want to invest in so like that people think that you can go on the internet and you don't need to buy a course because you can learn for free. Now, I'm not saying that you can't get clients, right, just from free content on the internet, but to say that you'll be the best marketer would be a lie. I'll tell you that right now. You will not find the gold mine of content that really gives you the how to do it type material that you really need to know outside of a course. Like, seriously, and I'm telling you this from experience because I don't just, I don't just, tell you guys to buy my course like I buy courses on a regular basis because I know that what's inside that course is going to teach me something like you don't just see me you know doing this because I just got lucky right I'm not just a, I'm not a Ryan Hildreth right I didn't find BitConnect and get lucky all right I sat here for years learning the material but I bought other people's material to learn from them. That's the best way you can do it is really to find other people that have proven the method, proven the material and learn from them. That's why I've paid other people, you know, thousands of dollars at this point just to learn from them, to have them mentor me because I know that that investment in them and the information that I'm going to get from them as a business owner or as a marketer is only going to take my business and my uh, capabilities as a business owner and marketer to the next level. If you're not willing to invest financially, you'll never be a successful business owner. I will tell you guys that right now. And if it's discouraging, then I'm sorry, but that's the realism of it. Like if you're not willing to invest money in yourself, then you should not expect to see the success that the big time entrepreneurs see. And that's what a lot of people want. But if you're not going to put in the time and the effort and the money that it takes to get to that level, then you shouldn't expect that that kind of return. And people want that return, and that's what really irritates me. It's like, they wanna be a millionaire, but they wanna do it in the next year. They wanna be that big time story in the next year, and then they want to you know, take something that is actually quite complicated, simplify it to the point where it's, oh, it's just a Facebook ad, and we're running that, we'll make millions. No, it's not that complicated, it really isn't. Um, and I don't like to sugarcoat it, I'd like to, I'd rather just put it out there for you guys. I've been invited to a, David says, I've been invited to a networking event for 70 business owners who collectively made $6 million within the group. I was told to bring business cards. Should I do a PowerPoint? David, I would totally recommend doing a PowerPoint. Why not? I mean, it's just a little extra added bonus for you to showcase your business, especially if you're going there to network with them and highlight your business, then definitely. I mean, shoot, break, bring in like, uh, PDF print offs of, you know, stuff about, I don't know, something make just whatever you do. Look, David, the biggest thing, whenever you're meeting with other business owners, whenever you're networking, provide 
value. Don't just go in there and try to meet people. You, like that's the whole point of a networking event. You should be doing that anyways. But when you go in there, if you're the guy who goes in there and you focus on how you're going to help someone in that event, I guarantee you, you will get more attention than anybody else because you will have the coolest thing there. If you create the coolest piece of information that any business owner can take and apply it to their business and it's about something that's going to help them improve their business, they will love you for it. So really put some time and effort to whatever it is you're going to take there um, and make sure it's something valuable. But yeah, Carl says that's an awesome opportunity and I agree. Tuning in late. What's up guys? Devin, what's going on buddy? Diego, you should totally, you totally should, David. Even if you won't use it, it's better to have it just in case. Antoine, I love it. All your videos are great value and in depth. Oh, I remember what I was going to say earlier now. That's right. I totally forgot. I wanted to give a huge shout out and props to Kayla Haley. Let me give you guys a little bit of this uh, story. I was saying how you don't have to have a background. And this goes back to the person who had the question. Um, I think it was, let me find, I know it was a girl. It was Tanya. I was going to say Tori. Um, Tanya, this goes back to your question. I want to give a big shout out to Kayla Haley. She's one of my students in the digital marketing school. Number one, she's making over $45,000 per month with her agency. So crazy amounts of money. She's getting loaded. Um, number two thing that I want to mention is she was a biology major, right? And that's why I got to talk about Digital Summit. So we recently started speaking this year. Kayla started her course with me. She started my serial entrepreneur program like a little over a year ago now. And now she's been invited to a big conference in the Colorado area for entrepreneurs to talk about her entrepreneurial journey in front of about 2000 people. So now she's even getting into the speaking space and she's my student, dude. This is like, it's so freaking ex exciting for me. Like I, I'm not trying to like steal Kayla's thunder because I kind of feel like I am when I say this, but like it's, it's exciting for me too, because like I never thought I would have a student that I mentored, I taught how to do something, she did it successfully, she did it really, really well, she's still doing it really, really well, and now she's speaking at events? Like, that's just insane to me. Like, that just, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say about that because <laughs> it just blows my mind. Anyways, I'm super happy for her. Kayla, again, congratulations. I'm very, very happy for you. Um, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen over the next year, uh, for your, for not only for your agency, but she just partnered up. She partnered with another company. So like her marketing agency led her to being a, a partial owner in another company out in Colorado. Like it's a CBD oil company and she's like partial owner now because of her marketing ability. Like insane kinds of stuff guys. And it's all because she started with my course. She was a biology major and now she's living the dream like killing it like absolutely crushing it um it, with, with her marketing agency so i can't say anything more or anything other than like amazing things about kayla and what she's been able to do let me see where we're at here we got a lot of comments here <clears throat> In season and out of season, maybe you can use PowerPoint in the future if you don't. Yeah, definitely use PowerPoint, David. I've been in sales for a while and I have no skill, just sold a $300 client. Carl, that's great, man, but I will tell you, beware of those $300 clients. Beware of anything less than $1,500 per month. I'm telling you right now, they're just a headache. I feel Wix is great. They have a great AI. Wix is okay. It's not really my favorite. I'll be straight up. I don't like the platform builders like that. Um, I like WordPress. That's really only it. Is Fiverr a good place to outsource? Carl, it's okay. I'm I'm I really prefer Upwork a lot more. Uh, Devin, it's not using a, it's using a template. It's not using like none of this on here is plugins. These are templated. Um, and maybe this right here is a plugin. Like this isn't custom coded. So I'm okay with like this stuff. Actually, this probably isn't a, a plugin. This is probably a custom. This right here is probably a plugin for the blog section. I would imagine. 
Um, this isn't plugin, but the blog, I mean, it is a template. It is a template that they used in WordPress, so I wouldn't be surprised at that. Um, do you recommend to hire freelancers or hire people who works exclusive for you? Uh, Diego, so what I do is I hire freelancers and then I get them to work for me. Um, so I basically hire a freelancer and then I try to load their calendar up so much that they only work for me. Um, reason being is because I don't have to pay them, you know, like how I don't have to pay for like health insurance and all the benefits of an employee. They run their own business. They work for them, but they're still responsible to making sure my work is done. So I can still kind of treat them like they are my employee. So, um, that's kind of my take to it. As I get bigger, obviously I will probably hire people to work in house, but for the time being, I'm outsourcing as much as possible. So. Oh goodness. My child has my I can't pronounce that. Microcephaly, microcephaly, and it's been so stressful wondering if she would be alive the next day. First baby, she just turned a year old, so I got so I go to businesses and I am trying to save to invest. Carl, I'm really sorry to, sorry to hear about that, man. I really really am. Um I hope that she, you know, I really hope nothing like that would happen to her and that she uh you know, finds health uh, really, really soon. Um, and I hope that you're able to, you know, continue to provide for her. And I hope that you land some clients here very, very quickly. The biggest thing I can tell you is every waking second that you have where you're able to commit to it, put into the education and just keep pushing as hard as you possibly can. Um, you know, Pursuit of Happiness is one of the really, it's, it's a really great story and a really great movie, the one with Will Smith. Um, and it's great because it's based on a true story. Um, and it shows that, you know, anybody can overcome adversity if they're willing to really commit to it and put aside all of the other things that don't matter as much as, you know, your family or your time or your, what you truly enjoy in life. When you really understand that it, what really matters is what you enjoy and fulfilling those enjoyments in life, uh, you know, that, that it helps you. People ask me all the time, like, Jordan, how do you stay motivated? How do you stay dedicated and working all the time? And it's simple, really. You just make sure that you have your priorities straight. When you have your priorities straight, when you know what you want and you have a clear vision in front of you, it's easy to stay motivated and to stay working. But if you have this fog in front of you and, you, you know, it, you don't have a clear path to the, to a clear end goal, right? So if you don't have a clear path to a clear end goal, if it's foggy all the way to your end goal and the path is un, you know, you can't, you just can't see where anything is on the path to the goal that you're trying to reach. It's going to take you a lot longer or you're not going to ever make it there at all. Right? So, you know, set clear goals, create a clear path to that end goal and understand that everything else is a distraction. Right. And once you understand that, it's not hard to stay motivated. You you understand that this is going to set me up here, which will allow me to do this later in my life, which is really what I want to do. That's why I'm 27 now and I'm working to retire at 35 because I don't want to work the rest of my life. I want to do projects from a distance and manage those projects and help affects, affect other people's life in that way. But I wanna go travel and hang out with my family while I have time to and friends and while they have time to, you know, all of that kind of stuff because that's what I enjoy, right? And everybody else enjoys, you know, different things. Maybe you just wanna travel and that's it. You know, that's up to you, but you have to start and you have to commit. And when you commit, I promise you, that's when you see the real difference. <laughs> Kayachi, I promise you, you will enjoy the course if you have enjoyed these YouTube videos. Currently in the process of hiring someone to design our company website, do you recommend paying hourly or a fixed price? Rodney, just go with hourly with web development projects. It's a lot easier. What I recommend is trying to get them to give you a quote on how many hours the project should take and then getting them to agree to a specific amount of hours. That way, if they go over that, they still are obligated usually to finish the job for you and make sure you get everything you need done. How would you advertise a food market stall that changes locations? Um, Dan, you're definitely going to want to do Facebook because you can do geo-targeting. Um, Facebook and Instagram would be really, really good. I mean, that basic, just like you would pretty much any other Facebook um, or a restaurant or food related service. Facebook and Instagram is going to be the best. You're going to target based on people who are physically in that location right that day. Not like 
you know, who have visited that location, all of that. They need to be in that location that day. That's something I would, I could tell you would definitely be important. <clears throat> How can you tell if a course you're buying isn't just a ripoff and is actually full of great content and educational material? Uh, Devin, the biggest thing I would say is check out their free content. Um, and you can usually tell from their free content what the course content would be like. If their free content's crap, then their course content's going to be crap, um, typically. That's not necessarily always going to be the case, but typically if their free content sucks, their course content sucks. Outside of that, if they're very uh, vague about what's inside their course and they don't maybe you know give any free previews or free lessons, to, then they're scared to show their course. So, you know, it's kind of, it's, uh, it, you know, as far as finding out, which course is going to be the best or not, or which one's a fake or not. Really just do your research, go into what the customers have said. So look for reviews. Um, that's why I make it very easy for you guys to find my trends or uh, find my reviews or what people say about my course. All you have to do is go to my Facebook page. I think we're like approaching like 30 student reviews. Um, where just people talking about how great of an experience they have with the course, how they're able to land clients, how they're able to make so much money, how it helped them understand marketing better and get better results with their marketing campaigns, all of that. So, you know, just look for reviews, what students are saying, and then really make sure that you do a deep dig into their free content. Hope that answered both of y'all's questions then. Asia Lachelle, how do you price your services when accounting for your own cost of living? Um, Asia, I don't account for my own cost of living into my services. Uh, and you shouldn't either because that's not part of your business. So, I mean, really, you just need to try and get out that you need. What you need to do is determine how many customers it's going to take you to cover that cost of living. Right, so if you determine that you need two thousand bucks a month to live, then how many customers is it going to take you after your expenses to start generating two thousand dollars per month? That's what I would try to figure out. Shield says, "Call me Jack." Um, all right, Jack. At what week would you expect to see results, and what things would? you look to change if you aren't seeing those results. Thanks, dude. Uh, Shield, Jack, could you be a little more specific about what you mean by results? Like results for a campaign, results for my course? I'm, I'm not sure what you're talking about. <clears throat> Rodney, do hourly and make them quote on how long something like that should take. It's impossible to get a fixed price site unless it's really basic or you're not picky at all. And that's basically what I said. So, Devin, thank you. <laughs> Yep. Um, your website looks the same. Looks like the theme I use, which comes with a builder plugin. That's why I called your site a plugin build. Even as a developer, I'm way too lazy to build from scratch. Yeah, no, I'm, and that's the thing. I would never expect site, especially these days, to be built completely from scratch. But we definitely aren't trying to do a like. There will not be you know a complete just plugin site, and that's it. Like there will not be tons of plugins on my site. I do stay up 30 plus hours most nights working, making videos, pursuing customers, listening to you on here until I can afford your course. Thank you. Carl, not a problem, man. And like I said, I mean, really the free content, it's for people like you because I know that people like you are really, you know, you want to get started. And that's why I don't just give out free content that's fluffy as hell or clickbait. Like I usually try to figure out, okay, what is this piece of content actually going to provide? Like, will it actually provide a piece of value to them? Or is it just going to be something where I'm talking for 15 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on how long of a video I'm trying to make, which we're getting much better at that, by the way. You guys will see here coming soon. But, you know, I don't want to just sit there and talk for 45 minutes. I want to actually make sure that by the time I got done with that video that you can actually take something from it. If you pay attention to most of my videos, if you really watch through all of the videos, you'll notice that we really go into making sure that you guys get something new from it that you might not have heard from someone else. Um, so I just want you guys to be aware of that. But Carl, I do hope the best uh, for your baby and I do hope to see you in the course very soon. Uh, make sure to get on one of my email lists. I'm not going to tell you exactly why. Just trust me. 
It's a little tip for you guys. <laughs> um, thanks. Thank you. You're great. Thanks. Hey, guys. Hey, I just launched my website. Can you check it out and give some feedback? I love your stuff. Keep going. I'm not sure what your website is. James Wall. Hi, Jordan. I love the content. I tried to download your audit template, but I only got taken to your sales funnel and the download didn't begin. Um, James, that's because that's not a sales funnel. That's a landing page. And all you have to do is submit your information and it will send you to our email list. And then we will email you that template. Um, our email list actually got full today. Like we couldn't add any more contacts. So we're having to up our um, subscription to Active Campaign. So uh, you might not have gotten it because of that. If that's the case, just give it another day or so and resubscribe with maybe a different email. Um, and if not, if you still try it in a day or two and it doesn't come through, uh, you know, reach back out to me and I will do some research into it that way. For Facebook advertising, if the business owner gives me a KPI such as sales, at what point do I change the ad if it isn't working? Uh, see, that's a that's a tough question. I mean, it really just depends on what your budget's like. Um, if you have a larger budget, obviously you can afford to do more testing. If you have a smaller budget, you can't afford to do as much testing. So, um, you know, I to I to. To put an exact dollar amount on it, I couldn't exactly do that. What I would say is before you turn an ad off and say that your creative and copy are bad, look at the offer or the content within the ad and determine if it's actually effective. And what I mean by that is if you're running an ad that doesn't go along with the rest of the content or theme that you're kind of uh, promoting within that ad stream, and by ad stream, I mean like, you know, if they come in on the first ad, then you're retargeting, 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 right? In that ad stream, if it doesn't kind of follow the same type of message and content, uh, then it won't make sense and you won't get the conversion that you're looking for with regards to sales. Uh, so it just kind of depends on how, you know, again, what the budget is, what your end goal is. Are you providing an offer as well? That's another thing. Um, what is your offer? Are you giving them a discount or something like that? Or are you just trying to get them to buy a product? Because if you're just trying to get them to buy a product, then that's a little different. If you're giving them a promotion, is your offer really worth it? Another thing that I'm starting to think now is what kind of remarketing or not remarketing, but pre marketing did you do to them? So what did you do to get them to the point of conversion? If you're trying to get sales for someone and the golden rule is the rule of seven. And if you don't know the rule of seven, the rule of seven is basically the fact that you need to touch someone, you know, a minimum of seven times with your content and have a meaningful experience or engagement with them before you should ever expect them to buy something from you. So have you fulfilled the rule of seven? Meaning have you sent them other ads and other pieces of content? Are these people that are deep in your sales funnel um, or are these higher level, you know, more towards the awareness stage of the sales funnel? That's what you need to consider. And then once you consider that, then you can say, okay, well, these audiences aren't working or this ad didn't work or this promotion didn't work. There's a bunch of different things that could be making it not work. Your content has definitely helped me get started. Awesome stuff. Millennial investor, I'm glad I've been able to help you, man. It's my goal here. And if you guys are starting to build personal brands, I'm telling you, you're going to want to stick around because we have figured out the secret to YouTube. Well, we figured out a couple of the really good secrets. Um, that's why we're approaching. I want to show you all this too, because this, this just makes me happy. <clears throat> so if you want to see how you can do this for your brand, because seriously, it's, it's nothing more than figuring out the, the strategy to it. And once you figure it out, you just keep going up and up and up. But I want to show you all my channel growth. <clears throat> just because it's been insane 
um, for the last couple of months. We're about to hit 7,000 subscribers. We'll probably hit it tomorrow because for the last like week, we've been growing at about a rate of 50 subscribers a day. Um, and that's without any paid ads. So, um, but you can see right here, thir roughly 1,300 video views per month, roughly almost uh, 40 subscribers per day that this is actually you know the average for the last i think 28 days or 22nd to july 5th so it's like the last two weeks uh for the last seven days though you can see like this doesn't actually sh doesn't show it right some of these numbers are off it relatively these numbers are correct these numbers in here are always a little off but basically for the last like week we've been having roughly you know 50 people per day subscribe and you can see our monthly views are skyrocketing and our subs are skyrocketing so it's been super awesome to figure out you know some of the tricks behind really running a youtube channel effectively um, so I'm excited for this personal branding course to teach other people how to take their passion and turn it into a brand like I'm doing right now and watch them monetize it because it's going to be, I'm telling you, we have built a mecca with this course. Like it is, as far as building a brand like this, like you won't find a better resource than that. Um, just because I know other people out there haven't put together one like this. <clears throat> Um, where are we at? How do I get on your email list? Carl Yeakley, just visit serialentrepreneur.academy. Um, like scroll for like five seconds and a pop-up will come up on the screen and just submit your information there or directly below this video. I think there's a section in the description that says like free content or free training, something like that. Maybe not. Yep, there is. There's a section in the video or below the video in the description that says free training. Just go to one of those links, click it, submit your information, and you'll be put on an email list. Um, and you can get all of the free training that we give out too. That's another thing. You, if you're trying to get free training for digital marketing, you definitely want to be on that list. <clears throat> Do you ever use ClickFunnels for client acquisition? Um, Kayachi, to be completely honest, we haven't been too focused on new client acquisition uh, because of the fact that we're focusing really more on building the serial entrepreneur brand. Um, we're only going to start taking for, uh, as far as marketing agency is concerned, we're only going to start working with like $10,000 clients plus. Uh, and the reason being, is we want to be able to provide as much content and information to you guys at the best quality and best price possible so to do that we have to obviously focus on this for now um you know it really just came down to making a decision do i want to do my agency full time and you know say goodbye to you guys or do i want to you know continue to help you guys grow your agencies and really ultimately i enjoy doing this a lot more and helping you guys with your agency a lot more than I do running my agency just because this is way cooler to me. You know, I've always enjoyed helping people learn, so um, I chose to do this. But yeah, so we're not really working on client acquisition right now, but if we, you know, obviously if we found a $10,000 per month client, we're not gonna tell them no. Um, but I will say that you can definitely use ClickFunnels because we actually created a video about it from a student of mine that was having success with this. Uh, they are running a campaign, essentially doing online webinars, signing people up for online webinars, doing local campaigns for online webinars, um, doing like live training of social media marketing or digital marketing from this live training. And then at the end, you can basically just do a Q and A and have those business owners that are interested set up appointments for consultations. I'm telling you, you guys, there are so many different strategies that you can implement to land customers. It's out outrageous. If your first client doesn't pay to you because you want to put your knowledge in practice for first time, is is it possible to get good results without an ads campaign? Uh, Diego, straight up, usually no. Like m the majority of the time, no. If you're going on Facebook and Instagram and you're expecting to get them the results they're looking for without ad spend, no. 
Hiring individual freelancer versus agency. What are, are there times where one option is preferred over the other? The only time you would ever want to hire an agency uh, freelancer, and like an agency style freelancer, is in the very beginning if you need a bunch of different services done up front uh, and you don't have a huge budget. That's the only time I would recommend. Um, or you don't have multiple clients. But past that, from my experience, I don't like the big agency field you know they do a good job like i said in the beginning but there is a lot of work on your end to do revision and just making sure that it ultimately meets the client's needs um so what i found was what i found worked better was hiring individually and res you know assigning people specific jobs with specific companies that there is like basically they have a book of accounts that they manage so they manage you know three companies blog articles you know that's what i would do something like that <coughs> Your camera is frozen, just a quick heads up. Well, y'all let me know if this unfreezes. I don't know why it would be frozen. <laughs> let me see if I can do something really quick to make sure it isn't frozen anymore. All right. Well, I'm not really sure why my camera is frozen. Let's try this. We can go like this. Yeah. All right. Y'all should be able to see me now. We'll just keep it on the webcam for now. Um. Okay, man, I wrote down a great deal of what you said. Thank you, sir. I was lucky enough to get two meetings on my first two times prospecting. It's quite invigorating pushing some limits for yourself. Jake, I'm glad. I think you said Jake. I'm pretty sure it was Jake. Jake, I'm glad that you were able to do that um, and get those clients so quickly. And I'm glad I was able to help. Make sure you continue educating or educating yourself. How can I enter to win the mentorship course? Alex Garcia, basically what we do is we do a giveaway at the end of every one of our videos on Thursday. Uh, so all you have to do is answer the question. We don't do like a giveaway. Basically, I do a questionnaire. And whoever answers the question right first wins. That way it's just simple. All right, yeah, sorry about the video, guys. I don't know why my DSL, like, it's working here. I see it working here, but when I look at it, on here let me go to transition mode and see what we have what do i have what do i have i think the one on the right's what's going so if i click screen dslr yeah it's like frozen for some reason i don't know why oh well not a big deal all right guys what time is it 1003 so all right are you guys ready to see or to play the mentorship course giveaway game? If you are, let me see a yes in the comment box. Also, if you haven't done this already, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. Um, so that way you actually qualify to win the mentorship giveaway. If you don't hit the thumbs up, you don't qualify and I will revoke your coupon code or even if you get in before I get the chance to revoke your coupon code and you get to use it, I'll just remove you from the course. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Because <laughs> otherwise, I'm not playing. I'll make sure you don't get it. And I'll make sure that it's taken away. I ain't playing. Oh, by the way, really quick, before we get into that, sorry, I, I see that y'all are ready, so we'll we'll get that going here in just a second. Um, but did any of y'all do anything fun for 4th of July? If so, I want to see it in the uh, comments below. Where's my phone? I'm going to show y'all really quick what I did for 4th of July. I jumped off of a 50 or 60 foot cliff. It was pretty fun. I went down the river. I don't know if you guys follow me on Snapchat. If you don't, it's at Serial ENT, just literally Serial ENT, all right? Um, but my buddy took a Snapchat, and where is it? Um, took a Snapchat. Oh, God, I got to get my phone on the charger for it dies, and then we'd have to wait. Um, took a Snapchat of me. No, it died. <laughs> All right, so we'll play the mentorship game, and then I'll show you guys the video afterwards. Let me get this thing at least turned on for you. 
Um, so we can do that really quickly. All right. Let me find a question that we want to use for today's video. Okay. Just give it to me. This ain't a game. It's real life. Also sub two. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't a game. It's real life. Um, it's not needed, Rodney, but what it does, it's continuing your education. So it is other content, other experiences, other pieces of information that you're going to want to learn. If you're really serious about your agency, um, it is something that I recommend you getting inside of because like the people who are serious, these are the ones who take advantage of all of the resources they have available to them. And if you're serious about making money with a marketing agency, you need that resource. It is a weekly update of new things happening, new material to keep learning from. And all you have to do is hop on. Plus you get the live interaction with me. You get this experience, but with way less people. Um, involved and you get to sit there and ask me questions directly so if you want that kind of attention then that is the perfect course for you pull with the fam I'm Canadian <laughs> all right Dylan nothing wrong with that fireworks and pool oh my god facts okay cool so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get a question let me look through some of these comments really quick and see so I can see something I said earlier Mm. Doom, 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 doom. Ooh, we'll make this really simple. Are you ready? All right. If you guys are ready, then here we go. Millennial investor. Yes, I'm in Atlanta. The question for the mentorship program, so that way you can get inside the mentorship program, is what platform do I use for up? What platform do I use for outsourcing? <laughs> I said it. I said it. What? Old, you're the winner. <laughs> I said, what platform do I use for up? And then I realized, I was like, damn it, that's not what I meant to say. It's I, I meant to say what platform do I use for outsourcing, and it is Upwork. Um, so, Old, you won today. Congratulations. Uh, do me a favor. Um, make sure that you... Uh, Make sure that you send me a message to my uh, Facebook business page uh, so that way you can get inside the mentorship course. Um, <laughs> Devin Grace, a new question. He's upset. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. You guys are great. No, you guys really do. Like, you guys crack me up on a regular basis with this mentorship giveaway because, like, y'all get so excited about it. And then when if you don't win... Like, y'all, like, straight up come at me. Last week, I had somebody, like, get legitimately, I think, like, angry at me for at least, like, 30 minutes. The next day, he, like, straight up reached out to me, and he was like, yo, I just wanted to apologize for my behavior last night on the live. I just get really heated about your content because I wanted to win. I was like, dude, it's no big deal. I was like, I just didn't want you mad at me. Um... Man, I had someone at my door at the wrong time. Mar Reason said, LOL, we all said it first. All right, so if y'all want to see um, that video where I jump off of a 50-foot cliff, I'm going to show y'all that really quick. Let me pull up my screen so I can make sure I'm showing it to y'all right. 50-foot um, cliff video. Oh, this is terrible quality. It's from Snapchat. Let me see if I can get it up right.
That little dot up at the top, that's me. I don't know what the music is. <laughs> Wait. Alright, so that little dot up there, that's me. Oh, yeah. Dude, it was so high up. I don't know if you guys like heights. Um, I don't mind heights at all, but I'm not going to lie. That's one of those feelings like when you jump. Um, like, <laughs> dude, you feel like you're going to die. Like, I felt like I was going to die. Uh, Jordan, are you are you Android over iPhone like Billy Jean? If so, why? I am totally Android over anything iPhone or Apple. Um I don't, I don't, I'm not an iPhone guy. I will never get an iPhone. Mara Reason said get an iPhone. I'm broke from paying for Billy Jean, and now he's giving you testimonials, so I need your corks next, but I'm broke. <laughs> Devin, you're cracking me up, bro. <laughs> you're funny as hell. Um, how much, let's work a good deal. How much you need, how, how much can you afford to spend? No, I'm kidding. Uh, you said you're broke. You can, I'm not going to push you to spend money you don't have right now. Save up and get at me. Maybe we can work out a deal later. Who knows? Um, but no, the reason I like, uh, Android as opposed to like an iPhone personally is the customization. So like, for example, I can, I can put widgets on my phone. Like actual widgets, not like those fake Apple widgets. Like I can have a calendar on my phone. I can have, you know, well, that's not a widget. I can have this Google search bar on my phone. I can have an alarm clock widget. I can have, you know, just all kinds of different widgets. And then I can, you know, I can build my phone to work the way I want it to work. Plus, you know, it's just overall a better experience in my opinion. I don't really like Apple's user experience. It's just not my favorite. Um, I think that the only thing their phones are good for is video and photo. That's just me. Um, that would be the only reason I'd actually ever buy one would be for video and photo. Can I send you a DM? I at I am Kayachi. Um, Kayachi, I don't know if you're talking to me or not. If you are, sure, just send me a message to my Facebook page or to or to my Facebook business page or my Snapchat or Instagram, one of those, and I'll definitely get back with you. Uh, let me see what else we got here. I'm scared of that. I had a friend get messed up because he landed in a shallow part. Oh, don't be scared. It's not that bad. I promise you, it really ain't that bad. It like it's freaky, but it ain't that bad. Broke is relative because I just spent money on a new iPad and iPhone, but don't hold that against me. I need that discount on the low. <laughs> well, Devin, send me a message. Maybe we can work something out for you. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna guarantee anything, but maybe we can. But Anyways, guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. I'm going to go ahead and get out here. Um, Devin, I won't be able to review the audit probably. I, I just don't have time this week or next. We're doing so much. These next two months are the busiest two months that I've had all year and probably will have all year because we're building a new site. We're launching a new course and we're updating our current course. Um, so, I mean, I'm sorry. I just, I honestly don't have time to right now. I'm not even taking consultations really right now. Um, just because of what's going on. So, I don't have example boards after taking your course in realistic time. How long would you say it would take to get the business up off the ground? Everett, that's the thing. It's really dependent on you. Um, I've had, I have a student testimonial that I just got back today that the student landed his first client in two weeks. Um, Derek Bumper, you guys will see him talk about it a lot. He landed like eight clients in like his first three months out of the program. Um, you know, you can, it's all up to you and your drive. Like that's the thing. It's different for everybody, but if you get at it and really get going, you'll land the clients as soon as you get out there and get to them. Um, 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 uh, 
Marco, I have I don't have what I bring into meeting or actually yeah, I think I do. If you go to like my pricing or my proposal video, go to YouTube and search for my proposal video. We have something on there about it. Uh, da, 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 da. Should I wait to purchase the course until the new? Um, Ty, if you're looking to you know start getting some results with your agency, no, get it now. Because uh, either way, once we get the new course, you're still going to get all of the same material plus all of the new material. Um, and when we create the new course, all of our current students will get an update letting them know we've migrated the course. They'll get an email notification. You just go in, set up your new account, and you're good to go just like you had the course previously. So it's up to you. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Y'all have a great afternoon. I will talk or great evening, afternoon, wherever it is that y'all are at. I will talk to y'all next Thursday. Until next time, Serial Entrepreneur out. Later, guys.